had to talk to someone. I told Barry everything. He thought I was certifiable, but when he heard about the manuscript, I had him. The fact that I'd written something, even if I couldn't remember it, was enough for him. He smelled money, and he believed that Alice had been kidnapped. Anything beyond that was another story. I had a midnight appointment with the kidnapper in a place called Lover's Peak, somewhere in Elderwood National Park. The plan was to rent a cabin. I don't like it, Al. I don't like any of it. It's not good. In fact, it's the absolute opposite of good. Mr. Wake! Barry, you found him! Hi, Rose. Oh, wow. I was just thinking about you, too. Great. I was just bringing Rusty some coffee. He's on the balcony, looking after Max. Poor thing. I really need to go. Great to see you again, Mr. Wake. Later! Who's Max? What an airhead. Jeez, Mr. Takes a Swing at Everybody. This is not her fault. She's a very nice girl and, more importantly, a fan. She even has a fan site dedicated to you. And she was very helpful when I was looking for you. All right, all right, all right. I get it. You like her. You dig her. Seriously, Al. What you were saying in the car? Just listen to yourself. Oh. What, you shot a guy? Coffee. And his body just disappeared? Mm -hmm. What was the last time you slept? What, are you high? <laughs> no, I just had a lot of coffee. Have you been drinking? No. Drinking coffee. Look, Barry, I'm missing a week. And someone's got Alice. Do and you everything's understand just... what it sounds like when you say stuff like that? Don't get me wrong. It's a good story. Could be a bestseller. But when you start confusing fiction with reality, you're buying yourself a ticket to the funny farm. Right, wait here. Yeah. You go talk to this guy. Probably punch Easy him. Easy there, boy. I'm almost done. Hey, Rusty, right? You run cabins. Oh, Mr. Wake. I'd shake your hand, but mine are kind of full here. Actually, I'm sorry about this. Would you mind grabbing the registration form from the desk? It's just across from Bucktooth Charlie. Okay, sure. What are you doing to that dog? Oh. What happened? <laughs> Crazy poachers. Max here got his foot caught in a trap. They're illegal to use here. Hell, you're not supposed to hunt within the park at all. But that doesn't stop some lowlifes. Yeah. <sighs> Hell, at least Max is going to be okay. Yep. He got lucky. Good thing. Seriously, Al, you can't just go and meet a kidnapper. Those situations yeah. always end up in disaster. Why don't you shut up, Barry? You talk to the cops. She's my wife, and it's my call. Can we talk about this later? No. This whole thing is... Listen, you hit your head. I mean, geez, Al, come on. You gotta understand how crazy all this sounds. If you're trying to pull a joke on me, freak me out, it's working. Ha ha, let's have a laugh on Barry. <laughs> well, you had me going there real funny, Al. You can quit it now. All right. Whatever, Barry. You don't even know. You'll know, though. Soon. I think this is the form you wanted. And here are the keys. Okay, you're all set, Mr. Wake. Glad to have you staying here. Thanks. Can you tell me how to get to Lover's Peak? Oh, sure. It's at the end of the nature trail. Just follow the paths, you'll get to it eventually. It's an easy walk. Nice spot, too. Alright. If you have any trouble finding it, just keep your eyes on the radio mast. It's right below that. What? Gotta walk all the way out there? Jeez. Look. You're oh my god, shut that up, you Barry. shot a dude who went poof into thin air, a guy who was bulletproof until you pointed a flashlight at him. You hear that from people who end up spending time in padded rooms, strapped to their beds, wearing white shirts with two long tangled up sleeves, yeah, well, you're and coming with eating me. a healthy diet of pills. Al, you make cruel jokes about people who believe that kind of stuff. You're the skeptic. You gave me an hour-long lecture on homeopathy last month. What was it? If there's no proof, it's pure bullshit. Period. Guess the laugh's on me, then. Ow, come on! I mean... I am okay. really bored with you, Barry. Okay, maybe something weird We can talk about okay? this later. That's just crazy talk, Al. Ow! Are you still Ow. talking about this shit? We should go to the sheriff or call the FBI. Damn it, Barry, the killer. This is not a goddamn debate, Barry. I'm going to Lover's Peak. He said to come alone. Okay, okay then. I understand. 
You're my best friend, and I'm worried that you're not right in the head. Tell me what to do to help, and I'll do it. You stay here, and if I'm not back by morning, call the cavalry. Oh, God. Just be careful with the natives, Al. These yokels are dangerous. Everybody hates a tourist, or it'll be deliverance all over again. Yeah, well, you just stay here and sneeze. Barry. I'll go be a man. Anything to pick up in here? I'd like a gun, please. Oh. No, leave those on. Uh, can leave. Oh. Batteries. Coffee. All right. Let's go get our wife back and then get revenge or you know just our wife that's the most important I'll part wait here, Al. I'll hold down the fort. I'll be with your spirit every step of the way. why can I still hear you the door now. tired of Barry negative attitude Barry had the keys to the oh, car God around. damn it wasn't a long walk to the visitor center. What? And it wouldn't be any use to me in the forest. Oh, sure. I knew I should have gone to the cops. This wasn't the smartest thing I'd ever done. But I was still angry with Barry for trying to talk me out of it. Shit. These people had called me right in the sheriff's station. The cops wouldn't scare them. And they had Alice. You should have got those keys to the truck, too. You're just full of bad decisions, Alan. The hell? Those are freaking mutant birds. I don't like them. I do like how we just walk into people's houses. That is awesome. Welcome back to the show, folks. As promised, our very own Dr. Nelson is just... What do we got? Yeah! Ammo. What's your deer fest plan like? My plan? What? You make it sound a lot more organized than I ever see. Really see somebody out there? <laughs> Switch That's those lights. Really, just the Man, I'm freaking out now. All right. Oh. Oh. That, you know. Let's just go. Hey. Anybody out here? Maybe I'm just on edge. Or acid, one of the two. Yeah, this is a pretty nice place. Got a freaking balcony. Drop hazard. Really? Never would have guessed it. Sweet tire swing, bro. What? Oh, what the hell? Is it aliens? Bet it's aliens. Hey, another house. Let's go uh, break in. See if we can steal their coffee. <laughs> Moonshine Cave. That's where I want to go. Just uh, sit in the Moonshine Cave and drink water. <laughs> random house. Just kick open the door. Jesus. Another, yeah, my favorite show. Crime and punishment. The cancer and cure of civilization. But some crimes are impossible to punish, especially in Night Springs. Here we go. Tonight's episode. The man in the mirror. We're gonna watch the whole thing of this one.
Maybe you're not the literary type. Okay, so you mess them up. But why? Who was that guy? We couldn't ID him. Why would a guy like you do him like that? I didn't like his face. Well, you must have hated it, because you really went to town there. I mean, there's no way to tell what he looked like. No ID on him either. That must be difficult. But then we ran the fingerprints. Got a match. Your prints. Identical. Huh, how about that? Your son said you were wearing a white shirt when you took him to the game. The white shirt is on the dead guy. It's plenty red now. You won't get away with this. Do you really think that's in any way relevant to me? I had plenty of time to talk to my boy before the cops arrived, you know? He won't stop screaming, am I right? You think he's ever gonna be okay? <laughs> I left my mark. Believe me. You, you bastard. What? You gonna shoot me? What's the point? I'm going to prison. You got me. I... I don't understand any of this. And you never will. wasn't as good. Nothing. Alright. Night Springs. Gotcha. Alright, let's go. The hell is that? Those freaking mutant birds or aliens again? I don't know. What's that way? Oh, the hiking trail. Okay, we gotta go that way, I think. First, that manuscript page. Fallen Rock Zone. Do I need to go to the visitor center? Yeah, that's right. The vision left me weak. This was no head injury. Oh, what the hell? Shit's going down. I'm coming. I got my flashlight. Ready to rock. Rusty, where you at? I hear you. I'm a coming. Yeah. Oh, hey. Ooh. Mr. Wake? <laughs> oh, hell. It happened. Just the way it was on that page. I found. Game true. It knew. So dark. It'll come back for me. You must. The lights. In the office. I, I have the key. Okay, Rusty. Hang on. I'll be right back. Damn. Whoever did this couldn't be far. Rusty had found a page from the manuscript. It would help me understand what had happened. Rusty don't look too good. Shh. Good boy. Alright. Get the lights on. That is our mission right now. The only way to make sure that Rusty was safe was to get the power running and the lights back on. Right. That's what I just said. Thanks, Alan. The gate to Lover's Peak was locked. Um, do I have to go through here? Yeah, probably. All right. Well, manuscript page anyway. That's locked. This is open. What's going on in here? Oh, oh shit. It was too late. Someone had destroyed the circuit breaker. There was no way to get the lights back on. Who? No. No, uh, uh. What's going on? Oh. Oh shit. 
The ground was covered with oily patches that looked like liquid darkness. Yeah. Oh, we can do that. Okay, cool. I, I take it I don't want to step on those things, because it would probably be bad. Oh no, the dog. Hey, what's up, guys? Huh. Oh, shit. Oh, yeah. All right, Rusty, you you doing all right, man? Nope. Something had torn a mammoth-sized hole in the wall. Mammoth-sized? Okay, that thing's still there. Please don't feed the animals. Oh no, not Rusty. Fishing is only permitted for those prisoners who purchase a part of the fishing license. Oh. Oh. Uh. Ah, yeah, oh, damn it. Rusty? Rusty I don't want to kill you, man. I don't want to. Fast. <laughs> Slow it down, Rusty. Slow it down. Too much coffee, I think. Yeah. He's just gonna run away? What was in this thing? Just ammo. Lots of ammo. Uh oh. Okay, stop picking it up. Suck it, Rusty! Am I getting anywhere, like, with that? Should I? I don't know. Yeah. Should I be shooting him? No, I don't think so. I think I gotta drop this. Oh, shh. Oh, that did it. Now I'm going to shoot him. Yep. Come on, Rusty. There you go. That's how you kill a guy. 